So Dr. Capper, some news reports suggest that cattle actually have a greater environmental impact than cars. Mm -hmm. You're an animal scientist who's done an enormous amount of research in the environmental impact of cattle production. What can you tell us about these reports? So a report from the UN FAO came out about five years ago. They claim that on a global basis, livestock account for 18% of total greenhouse gas emissions. So everybody went, oh my goodness, that's terrible. That's bigger than mm -hmm. transport. Well, since then, they've actually said, you know, we got that wrong. Um, on a national basis, for example, all of animal ag accounts for about 3.4% of the total greenhouse gases. Of that, cattle is only about 2.7%. So those claims really aren't true. So where do we stand with this number? Are they revising it? They are putting out a beef report in the next few months. We haven't had the results out yet, but it'll be interesting to see how they come out, if and when they do. So what are the facts about cattle production uh, in terms of the, its contribution to greenhouse gas emissions? So there is a perception that if we eat meat, if we eat beef, pork, anything else, that these things have a big environmental impact. And the first thing that we have to understand is that all food has an impact, whether it's apples, tofu, cheeseburgers, whatever it is. But having said that, beef has made an incredible contribution over the last 30 years. So if we compare to 1977, for example, advances in management, nutrition, genetics, health, welfare, all of these things have made our farms more productive, more efficient. Now, if we do that, we cut land use, water use, greenhouse gases, everything improves on the environmental side. So we're actually making progress in reducing environmental impact through technology. That's, that's exactly it, through adopting technology, through being more productive, more efficient, compared to 1977 per pound of beef. We've cut the animals used by 70%, we use 34% less land, 14% less water, and we've cut the total carbon footprint per pound of beef by 18%, which is a fabulous achievement. Well, that's very different than what we've been hearing in the newspapers. Thanks for clarifying that. Thank you.